Okay, we're going to go ahead and work on a shadow problem. In class, we've talked about the consistency of identifying our variables and what they represent. So let's start lab labeling our diagram based on the question. Now, we're looking for the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving when a person is walking towards the light at 5 feet per second. The person is 5 feet tall and they're 16 feet, the light is 16 feet above the ground when he is 10 feet from the base of the light. Okay, so let's go ahead and define x to be the length from the light to the tip of the shadow. Now notice that this area here, or this part, is the shadow that I'm highlighting right there. Okay, and then we're going to call this distance x sub p, which stands for the distance the person is away from the light. And we're going to identify this distance from the person to the tip of the shadow as x sub s. Now from that, we're going to be able to develop a relationship between these three variables where we know that x is equal to x sub p plus x sub s. We can differentiate that with respect to time, but we will go ahead and continue our toolbox and then get an idea of what we're looking for. So the problem asks us for what is the rate at which the t tip of the shadow is moving. And that would be the rate dx sub t dt. So what we're looking for is dx sub dx dt. And that's what we're out to find. Now, since the problem says that we're walking, the person's walking at a rate of 5 feet per second toward the street lamp, that really is the re rate dx sub p dt and since we're going and closing that gap we're going to call that a negative 5 feet per second. So our goal is now to find a relationship between x and just x sub p. Now there's another equation that we can use now which will be involving similar triangles. We know that 16 is to the big part of the triangle. So I could write 16 is to x as the height 6 feet is to x sub s. Now if we realize in this first equation here we want to solve for dx dt so therefore we might want to get x sub s out of here. And to do that let's solve this equation for x sub s. First by cro cross multiplying and then by isolating we see that x sub s is equal to 3 8 x with simplification. Now we we have that relationship and we could differentiate that relationship. However there is a distinct relationship between the distance s and x. x will always be 3 8 of that total distance. So let's use that fact to go back into this equation and take this information plus this information and rewrite it so we now have x is equal to x sub p plus 3 eighths x sub p or not 3 eighths x. Okay now let's go ahead and isolate x since that's what we're differentiating to find. So I'm going to go ahead and take 3 eighths away from the whole and I'm going to rewrite this as 5 eighths x is equal to x sub p and then solving for x I get 8 fifths x sub p. And what that means is that if I take the distance x sub p no matter what it is that the distance x will be 8 fifths times that. Well we can also differentiate this so we can do that now and we could say dx dt is equal to 8 fifths dx sub p dt and since now we know the value for dx sub p dt we can go ahead and substitute that and we will say this is 8 fifths times five, negative 5 feet per second and that leaves us with the final answer of negative 8 
feet per second. Okay, so now we found the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving. It's moving to the left at negative 8 feet per second. Now the second half of our problem asks us at what rate is the length of the shadow changing? So that rate that we're looking now is going to be dx sub s dt. So that's our unknown. We could look for a relationship where we could differentiate it. And I think I found one right here at the top. If I go ahead and use this one, I can differentiate that with respect to time. So by differentiating this equation now, I get dx sub s dt is equal to 3 eighths dx sub t. And that's going to be now, since I could take this value, it's going to be 3 eighths times negative 8 feet per second. And we see that's going to be a negative 3 feet per second. Let's make sure we interpret that right now. What that means then that the length of the shadow now is decreasing, because it's negative, at a rate of 3 feet per second, decreasing. That's why we have the negative. Okay, so what I would recommend is try this a few times, master it, so that you can go through and see the way we use the proportionality statement here, as well as the um, summation equation where part plus part equals whole. And then you can see how we fit those together. Practice that a few times, and before you know it, you'll master shadow problems along with all the other related rates.